Hello, thank you for joining me for the next session of the Inglorious Chorus Oil Painting. So I've applied the, uh, the seven coats of gesso to the canvas and, uh, the, and sanded in between those coats of gesso. The, uh, the last two coats are uh, a gray gesso that I've been using, and this works really well for nocturnal images uh, because it's a, it's a darker scene that I'm painting, and that gives me a, kind of a grayish neutral tone to, to start off with. Uh, so today I'm going to be um, adding in the the outline of the buildings uh, and just kind of you know mapping that out that that composition of the the buildings. And this is a, uh, uh, a very rainy scene, so uh, my goal is to kind of paint in an, just kind of a, uh, an idea of the kind of uh, formation of those buildings and that kind of hazy um, like pouring in of the rain uh, over those buildings. Uh, and that, that's my that's my focus today. I'm using a yellow ochre to uh, uh, color to uh, just kind of outline that. It goes really well in the gray. It gives me a, a good contrast from the, to see where the where the, you're laying those uh, those lines of the composition. I'm starting on this uh, this third of the canvas on this on this one third side side of the canvas. Uh, and just laying in that building. I'm working from a photograph. Um, it's actually a digital image that I have on a computer screen uh, projected so I can see that um, and just kind of uh, laying out that, that outline. And I do a lot of this just by eyeball. I don't really use any um, any ruler or anything like that at this point. Uh, just kind of getting getting an idea of that composition. This painting is from a fifth floor perspective, so it's uh, capturing those buildings in the background, but then also the downtown uh, street level as well. Um, and the the vertical the vertical canvas I think really accents the the height of those buildings, and uh, kind of using that to my advantage on the on the composition. I'm just trying to do this really quickly just to kind of map it in. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, but it just kind of gives an outline and an idea of where to go, go from here.
kind of trying to work from the sides and then come in to the painting. So just starting with that, these edges of the canvas, and quickly working in the, the perspective of those buildings. And it's by no means perfect. It's just kind of getting in an idea, um, something to start with. A lot of this initial painting is painting in the, um, the points of light, uh, these really the, are the highlights of the, the painting. Um, just getting those in kind of gives me a, a map of where things will go. A lot of these are street lights, um, car headlights. Um, and I can kind of work up the composition of the buildings behind them. <laughs> 